okay uh, now our alignment is there now what we are going to do is we are going to create the uh, first profile first profile in this the existing profile okay so for that uh, now this is our alignment file uh, and uh, if you go to the tool space and go to prospector you can see under services there is this eg service as well right so what we are going to do is we are going to create a create an existing profile for that you can do profile create profile from surface profiles create profile from surface there's one chat at bends do we need to change the interval of coordinates now if you want you can do that right uh, if you want uh, it's like uh, say now i'll just show you now you know when i go to general tool space uh, toolbox incremental station in report now if say from uh, say from 25 meter to 75 meter just think that is a that is a bend or a curve then i want to give a, give it as 5 meter in 5 meter intervals so once i create report so for that section it will come as in 5 meter intervals this is you this you can do if if it is necessary but usually national roads we are giving only for the uh, you know uh, 10 meter intervals not in 5 meter intervals right and uh, right uh, so we will create the pro profile profiles create profile from surface so once you press there uh, you will get create profile from surface <clears throat> and you have to select your proper alignment that is the center line alignment you know the center line alignment is the central design component okay based on that only we are doing everything right so there is select surfaces this is eg that is the available surface now we are going to add this eg to this dc here. okay to do that you select eg and press add so once you press the add this eg will come down to this profile list did you get that and then you go to drawing profile view there you are having general station range profile view height profile display options data bands profile hatch options like that. so you have to give all the details so here first uh, we are in general select alignment that is dzl okay no problem profile view name usually we give eg existing down Profile view style, <coughs> we give PV style 1000. That depends on the template that you are using, right? Can we do curve widening later or before creating profile views? Curve widening I'll teach uh, at the end of this lecture series, right? Why? Uh, because you know curve widening usually uh, you can't study it until uh, you have a proper understanding on super elevation development and other thing is usually in the design phase itself we are not providing uh, curve widening in national roads but when it comes to uh, express ways of course we are doing that right uh, but in national roads we don't do so what happens is when it comes to construction they provide the curve widening uh, maybe under our supervision okay sometimes sometimes you know there are some uh, highly qualified engineers they don't want our supervision they know how to do the curve widening but anyway i'll uh, tell you how to do the curve widening at the uh, maybe uh, i don't know maybe today or after that we'll see first you have to study the super elevation otherwise you can't do that okay right uh, then uh, alignment
yeah i didn't do any profile part yet uh, or anyway i'll start from the beginning right so profiles create profile from surface profiles create profile from surface so here you know there is this uh, alignment is dcl select surface dg you have to add it here but if you have it is already been added don't add it again right because you there is no way that you can remove it once added okay so if it is not there you have to add it otherwise don't add if it is there don't add uh, then press draw in profile view so we were here uh, select alignment ECL then the profile view name usually we give it as EG existing ground then the profile view style PV style 1000 okay so you have to make sure that alignment is DCL profile view name is EG and profile view style is PV style 1000 okay so we are here in general right then press next so it comes to station range <coughs> So then it comes to station range. Now uh, here it is selected automatic 0 to uh, 2 km something. But just in that you are having your handling and alignment of say 25 km. Then in uh, one drawing you can't do everything. There you can go to user specified range and say 0 to 5 or something. But since here it is only 2 km, you can retain this automatic thing. So the stage and range finish right go to next profile view height also at this instance we are not going to change anything because we don't know we haven't seen it yet once we have created we will see then you go to next profile display options also you don't have anything to change so default values are okay right then you go to next then data bands you have to select select band set PV style so RDA PV band set thousand not the field uh, RDA PV band set thousand if you want to have a different set you can create it here later we'll discuss how to do these things okay so here it shows Station value, finished road level, existing ground level, vertical geometry, horizontal geometry, and super elevation diagram. This is all they are going to show. Okay. Then next, here profile hatch options. We are not going to change anything here. Then press create profile view. Okay. So select profile view origin, give a convenient place. Convenient in the place place in the sense you don't go and put it here because it will cover this alignment so somewhere that you have enough space now this is your existing profile now this is your existing profile you can see the station is there finished ground level it is as same as the existing ground level because we haven't done any finished ground level fin I mean any vertical alignment yet therefore these two are same vertical geometry is the uh, vertical geometry of the existing ground okay that is why it is a mess there and horizontal geometry is what we have done for the horizontal geometry so you can see it first starts with the curve 35 meter and then straight then it goes to say 38 meter curve like that super elevation is not there why because we haven't inserted super elevation so this is how you are going to create an existing profile now if you want uh, you can remove i mean uh, you can raise this profile say now the data elevation is 34 what you can do is uh, you can select this one so once you are selecting you have to select it from these gray lines right remember don't press it here Okay, from gray lines and right click go to profile view uh, properties and there is this elevation so here it is automatic 
34 to 50 t you can select user specified height say 28 or something apply and ok so this is your existing profile like this so I'll do it again so you can follow with me if you didn't do it yet ok so you go to profiles create profile from surface here uh, you have to select your set line alignment DCL and surface is the existing surface <coughs> select it and add it so it will be added here okay then go to draw in profile view and you know there are one two three four five six uh, six steps that you have to complete select alignment DCL is already selected no problem give profile view name as EG then the profile view style should be PV style 1000 ok and then go to next so we are coming to station range station range automatically selected we don't want to change why because it is just two and half kilometer if we toss something like say 25 kilometers 30 kilometers maybe we will have to uh, segment them into 5 kilometer sorry I mean cut it into 5 kilometer segments but here we are not going to change it go to next then profile view height profile view height of course we don't know because we haven't seen the diagram right later we can change press next profile display options there is nothing you have to change go to next data bands here you have to select RDA PV band set 1000 don't select this field right if you selected field there will be only two things station value and existing ground therefore select RDA PV band set 1000 there they show station value finished road level existing ground level vertical geometry horizontal geometry and super elevation diagrams ok and then go to next profile hatch options here there is nothing you have to change uh, you select create profile view and then it says select profile view origin so you select some convenient location ok so your uh, existing profile is being created ok now you can see the station is there finished ground level and existing ground level are same because we haven't created a uh, you know a uh, the a design profile yet ok super elevation is not there uh, because we have uh, only created we have not yet inserted them right so save the drawings 